Hello, uh, that's the um, palette that I'm going to be using on uh, this uh, segment for the uh, hills. It is uh, dark sienna, um, uh, fallow blue and bright red and alizarin crimson uh, Bob Ross's uh, oil paints. Now, as I said, <coughs> I don't know how this is going to turn out because I've never done it on uh, camera before. But um, I'll be trying to work from the, um, the, the top right uh, to the left and then down. But uh, if I'm sorry, uh, I haven't got uh, mics or anything like that set up for, uh, for it, but... Uh, uh, one of these days I might be able to afford it. going to try uh, I'm going to do now is uh, mix the um, the back hill colors um, giving it a, uh, a mauve a mauve color by mixing the fellow blue and the, um, the red Bring a little bit of white over just to see uh, what we're doing. And try that. Too dark. Bring a bit of uh, white into it to uh, try to uh, calm it down a bit. And we'll have a look at uh, that. It's a little bit dark, so we'll bring in some uh, more white, titanium white, <coughs> and uh, we'll go uh, from there and see how we go. That looking a little bit better. We'll be um, putting this on and um, then uh, coming back to um, bring some more shape and um, that into the uh, to the hills at uh, a later time. Probably see the um, the 
the, the yellow there, that uh, will end up being a uh, tree line. Just trying to work that into a something that resembles what I uh, want the uh, hills to uh, look like when I've uh, got to come back and uh, adjust the shapes of the hill. Using a little bit uh, more um, of the red to uh, give it uh, that um, crimson purpley shade that we get into the um, hills in the outbacks of, uh, of Australia. On our uh, scenes. Working on the crisscross and downstrokes to uh, give it some direction. Not fully filling in all the spaces, leaving a bit of uh, of the uh, <coughs> under under colour there to. Uh, Give you uh, give me some idea of uh, what I've got to do. As again, this area in here is will end up being uh, trees. Well, now that now we've got that blocked in, we'll um, move on to the uh, the major uh, part of the range here. Uh, we'll be using the uh, <coughs> the uh, dark sienna with a uh, touch of uh, the um, blue in it just to uh, give it that little bit of uh, different uh, flavour so I can uh, tell what's, what's going on. This is probably uh, a little bit uh, too dark, but it, uh, it's not uh, overbearing. It's probably gone a little bit too too far into onto the green side, but uh, I'll uh, 
I'll put up with that for the time being. As I said, I'm not quite sure um, how uh, whether I'm uh, covering the um, the painting, or you can see what's going on, but won't be able to do it until I um, have. Uh, looked at the, uh, the take on this one, but uh, again not fully colouring, putting all the colour in, so I've got some idea of uh, the shapes that I want into the, the hill or the mountain side. Going to uh, try to uh, add a little bit of um, the uh, back hill colours into it to uh, just for a try out. All of the, all this that I'm doing. It's all trial and error for me, because um, uh, as I say, I've, I've never never um, painted on camera before, and I um, have uh, never tried to. Um, mix uh, colours in a uh, short uh, space of uh, time. It is uh, all uh, coming as a uh, trial and error and if uh, it uh, comes out uh, as I uh, want it, I'll be uh, extremely happy. Oh, I suppose everybody will be extremely happy, but uh, sorry about that. Going to stop here. That's uh, my alarm for um, 15 to 20 minutes, and uh, we'll uh, have a look at it and see what uh, happens from uh, from there.